Hey everyone, Anthony here, and yes, I did get a haircut since my last video. My last video was about Wondershare's Filmora 9. Now though, Wondershare has released an entirely new version of Filmora, Filmora Pro. Filmora has traditionally been simple and fairly easy to use, but now with Filmora Pro, it looks like Wondershare wants to cater to more advanced users. Okay, like a lot of people, I started editing videos with iMovie. It was simple, easy, free, I loved it. But eventually, iMovie no longer met my needs, and so I upgraded to something a little more substantial, Wondershare Filmora. That's what I've used for the past two years, and I recently started learning how to use Premiere Pro, which, for anyone who doesn't know, is basically an extremely advanced video editor that a bunch of people use. That's a bit of an understatement. Everyone uses it. That might be a bit of an exaggeration. Several Hollywood movies have even been edited on Premiere, such as, for example, Deadpool. Premiere Pro is pretty much the go-to for advanced or professional users, and as my needs have expanded, I've increasingly chosen Premiere over Filmora. Following along with the community over at Filmora's YouTube channel, and this seems to be the case for a lot of people. Filmora was what got them started before they switched over to Premiere. In fact, I have a friend whose path looks extremely similar to this. He started out with HitFilm Express, which, like iMovie, is a free video editor for beginners. He then moved on to Filmora, and he recently made the switch to Premiere. It would appear that the team at Filmora has realized that they are losing people to Premiere, and that's where Filmora Pro comes in. And Filmora Pro looks a lot like Premiere. Here is a quick comparison. Take a good long look at Filmora Pro. Now, here's Premiere. Everything from the effects tab, to the timeline, to the razor tool, just everything copies from Premiere's style. Clearly, they're trying to attract Filmora users who would otherwise be switching over to Premiere. So Filmora Pro looks like Premiere, but can it replace Premiere? That's the big question here, and well, it still remains to be seen. So it basically comes down to whether or not you want the reliable tried and true editor, which is Premiere, or the currently unproven knockoff, which is Filmora Pro. Okay, now so far I've been talking about Filmora Pro versus Premiere, but how does Filmora Pro compare to its little brother, Filmora 9? I can confidently say that Filmora Pro blows away Filmora 9 in just about every department. Things like the trimmer window actually make Filmora Pro easier to use than Filmora 9 in some cases. With Filmora Pro's trimmer window, you can easily grab the section of the video clip that you want and then just throw it into your timeline. Filmora 9 doesn't have a trimmer window, so you have to take the entire clip, put it into your timeline, and then trim it down to size in there. Depending on the situation, this can be frustrating and kind of annoying. You get very precise amounts of control over everything with Filmora Pro, and while it is a little more intimidating than Filmora 9, if you're deciding between the two, go with Filmora Pro. Trust me, it may be a steeper learning curve, but it is definitely going to be worth it in the long run as you get better and as your needs expand. Right now, I think Filmora Pro is worth it if you're already a longtime user of Filmora, but if you're deciding between Premiere and Filmora, I'd stick with Premiere for now. Okay. Those were my first impressions of Filmora Pro. If you've bought it already or just downloaded the free trial, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. It's a promising piece of software and I'm definitely excited to see how things turn out. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.